What the dickens have they done to Scrooge? I hate people. And I don't care if they hate me. Ebenezer Scrooge has been keeping Christmas his own special way ever since Charles Dickens created him 127 years ago in A Christmas Carol. Now, Cinema Center Films has taken this beloved story of the meanest man in the world and made it into a new musical delight called Scrooge. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's the nicest thing that anyone's ever done for me. I make an awful touch, but my delight is such. I feel as if a losing war's been won for me. And if I had a cannon, I would fire it to add a sort of celebration touch. But it's a empty cannon. Albert Finney makes magic happen, playing Scrooge as both an old miser and a young charmer. And as he's standing beside me, I can see him, he can see me. Alec Guinness brings to life the role of the late Jacob Marley. You don't believe in me, do you? No, I don't. Why do you doubt the evidence of your own eyes? You're an hallucination. Probably brought on by a, a, an undigested bit of beef, or, or a blubber mustard, or a crumb of cheese, or an old potato. Edith Evans plays the ghost of Christmas past, and Kenneth Moore is the ghost of Christmas present. <laughs> Nineteenth century London comes vividly alive in a blaze of song and dance. Correct. Ask anyone called Robinson or Brown or Jones or Smith. Their favorite day and they will say. December the Correct. And what version of a Christmas carol would be complete without Bob Cratchit and Tiny Tim? The world is pretty as a dream. Christmas trees and toys. Christmas hope. And joys. Christmas puddings rich with Christmas cream. What the dickens have they done to Scrooge? They've made a musical for the pure joy of it. The engine looks all right. We've had enough.